Call Hello in Law, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and those great millstone and sing on to hope let around the world. May Yah Bashem, Yahushai, continue to protect and guide your steps throughout these turbulent times. Shabbat Nadab, come at you with another one. Okay? Today's lesson is they shall be satisfied. Once again, they shall be satisfied. And if they is talking about, it's talking about the hopefully lit in these times. Okay? The hopefully lit are the only ones that are seeking the uh, kingdom to come. And the promises that was promised to uh, I, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? I'm going to start with the definition of a satisfied, gratified. Okay? Filled with satisfaction. A laid, quench slate. All right, and the uh, hope lit gonna be satisfied in these times as long as uh, we continue to uh, fear Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Okay, and He's gonna uh, show us mercy and favor in these times. Okay, I'm gonna start off with uh, Proverbs. 19 and 23. Proverbs 19 and 23. Come. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, tended to life. That's right. That fear of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. It's, it's talking about having that uh that reference to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, knowing that he's a terrible power. And uh, his judgments, he uh, gets real creative. When he judges these people upon the earth, okay? And the uh, fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, okay? And he that had it shall be satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. That's right, and we're going to need that that mercy and that uh, favor in these times because these damn devils, these so-called uh, uh, white people, these Edomites, they come with everything they got, Okay? All about the birthright. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to get Psalms 90 and 14. Okay. Come. Oh, satisfy us. Hopefully let early with thy mercy, that favor, okay, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. That's right. That hope they hopefully let in these times are looking to be uh uh delivered out of this pit, which is America, okay? And to uh be put back in our land, which is Israel, okay, and be put on high and having these uh heathen nations on um, suggestion, okay? And hopefully let the uh looking forward to these times and hasten these times, okay? All right, going to go next door, Psalms 91 and 16. With a long life, I satisfy him. That's right. And uh, the hopeful let are the, uh, those ones that's going to go from life to life, okay? At the uh, second coming of Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Shah is coming with those immortal bodies, okay? With the heavenly host. And, okay, and show him my salvation. That's right. That's the ultimate goal of the uh, hopeful lick to be saved, okay, and delivered out of uh, the thermonuclear destruction, which is World War Three. That's fastly approaching, okay. All right. Next, we're gonna get Isaiah fifty-eight. Isaiah fifty-eight, ten, and eleven. Come. Okay. And if. Isaiah 58, 10, and 11. If, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and, sa and satisfy the afflicted soul, that's the uh, hopeful let, okay, then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness be as the noonday, okay. That's Yahweh uh, Bashmi Yahweh Shah. Showing us, uh, guiding us with this truth, okay, and uh, putting darkness away 
from us the ways of America, the ways of these Edomites that uh, has a two-thirds of our people in further derision, okay? Their oaks are going to be destroyed by following these Edomites, by being joined unto them, okay? Isaiah 13 15. All right. Isaiah 58 and 11. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought. That's right. He's going to make sure that we're uh, uh, provided for in these times, okay? And make thy and make fat thy bones, okay? Won't have a worry in the world. He's going to give up all. Uh, all our needs, okay? And thou shalt be like a water garden and like a spring of water whose waters fit not. That's right. We're going to be in good standing, okay? We're not going to be suffering like the rest of these uh, two-thirds and these heathens out here, okay? That refuse to uh, hearken unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. They're going to be given to their own devices. Okay, but the hopeful elect are going to be in a good case. Okay, right. That's we're gonna get a. Uh, all right, Philippians four. Philippians four and eleven. Okay, not that I speak to respect of want. Okay, for I have learned. And in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. That's right. And the hopeful leg are, are content as long as we have shelter, uh, uh, clothing, and uh, a place to stay. A uh, place to stay. Okay. We don't need uh, all these extravagant uh, things of this world. Okay. Just the simple things to survive. Okay. Verse 12, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. That's right. And we suffer, uh, suffer, suffer righteousness for your have a child's sake, okay? That we may uh, be uh, provided for. In Jacob's trouble, which we're in the beginning stages in right now. Okay. Next, we're going to get uh, uh, Hebrews. Hebrews 13, 5, and 6. Okay. Let your conversation be without covetousness and jealousy. And be content with such things ye, as ye have. That's right. Being content and having shelter. Okay. If you have a job or if you're, you're unemployed, you, 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 see, you receive benefits. Okay. You see those benefits. But, hey, uh, these damn devils uh, try to get you, uh, get that inoculation. You tell them hell to the gnaw. And trust in y'all by some y'all shop. First and foremost. You know what I'm saying? But he, because he provides for us, okay? For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. That's right. And as long as we're uh, doing what's pleasing to you, how about you, Yahweh Shai? He's not going to forsake us, okay? All right, verse 6. So that we may boldly say, The Lord, Yahweh Shai, is my helper. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. That's right. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah can destroy both soul and body. Okay. In hell. And that's in hell's condition. Okay. He can torment you. Uh 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 I mean make it bad for you, you know what I'm saying? Change your current condition to you know what I'm saying? To nothing. Okay. That's why he's a terrible power and great to be feared, okay? 
Well, it's going to end off this lesson. I'm going to end off by saying Shalom, Kong Yasurala, Wa, Babakasha, 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 Yabashim Yawasha, Kawama, Yawala, Yaza, and Awa, Shayama, Elahayim, Yapua, Maltaza, Yahayim, Wa, Babakasha, 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 Yabashim Yawasha, Shalak, and Yapati, Mada Wami, Waha, Rasha, Wa, Baba, 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 Shalom.